Hello, my name is Kate Thompson and I am the author of Superheroes Don't Get Scared, which has been illustrated by the very talented Claire Elson. I am here today with Bopnado, Bogey Boy and Spectacular to mark Children's Mental Health Week. Now the theme this year is Express Yourself which means helping children to express any emotions, feelings, thoughts in creative ways. Now I wrote Superheroes Don't Get Scared because I wanted to help normalise the experience of fear for children while helping them to recognise and celebrate their own superheroes. And one of the big things I hope to achieve through writing this book was to create the opportunity for conversations between grown-ups and their children about fears and worries. So I think the theme of this week's Mental Health Week is fantastic. It's so important that children find ways that they can express how they're feeling. And it's not always possible to do that in a conversation. So using art or writing or dance or singing is brilliant. Now I thought I'd share with you this week, one of the activities I've created um, inspired by Superheroes Don't Get Scared. Now, and it's a create your own superhero activity. So I'm gonna have a go at drawing a superhero. Now, as I've said already, I'm not the illustrator of Superheroes Don't Get Scared or any other book for that matter. So my drawing skills are interesting. But the main thing is that you spend time creating your superhero and thinking about what their powers, their fears would be, and then how they would go about facing those fears. So let's try drawing one together. Now, your superhero could be a human being superhero, like in the book, or it could be an animal superhero, or an alien, or a robot, or really anything at all that you can think of. And it doesn't actually have to be a superhero either. If you fancy creating a villain, that also works. Just go through the same process. What will your villain's powers be? What will their fears be? How will they face those fears? Okay, so I'm gonna do this quite quickly. When you do yours, obviously you can spend as much time as you want creating your superhero, coloring it in, creating lots of detail, and thinking about all the things we've spoken about. So, my superhero is going to be called the Splash. And she is going to be based in the water. So she's going to have goggles on, like this. And they're super goggles, they never leak or mist up. That's what we all need, isn't it, when we go swimming? So like that. We can see her eyes. And she's going to have this lovely smile. Uh, she's going to have curly hair, like this. Okay. And then I'm going to do her arms in the big superhero hands on hips pose like this. I'm just going to do circles for the hands because it's quicker. Um, obviously you can spend more time doing lovely detailed drawings. So then she's got her body and then she's got her legs coming out like this and I'm going to do long flippers on her feet because that will help her do her super swimming, won't it? Now, obviously this isn't a fantastic drawing. I bet you lot have come up with something much, much better. Um, and come up with like lots of different details on it. I'll put a cape on her. It can be an underwater cape, like that. She looks pretty cool, doesn't she? So her powers, now I'm gonna write them down, but if you aren't yet able to do the writing of your powers down, you can either talk to a grown up and they can help you write them down, or you can just draw something which shows what their powers are. So she's gonna be a super swimmer. I want to be off this side, isn't it? There we go. And her hair's gonna dry really fast. Now her fear is gonna be based on something that I'm scared of, crabs which isn't great because I actually do live at the beach um, and I go crabbing with my children sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's her fear. So when you come up with your fear, you can make up something completely. It doesn't have to be based on something in the real world that worries you, but it can be quite helpful for you to base this on something that maybe you're a bit unsure about or something that does scare you. So I'm gonna write the word crabs 
but by all means draw a lovely picture of it you can even put it down here with your um, superhero I'm just gonna do this really quickly now how will my superhero face this fear hmm. well first of all I think she's gonna have her um, flippers are gonna be have anti crab layer on so they can't nip through so she's gonna I'm gonna put face her fears like this so special shoes or special flippers right and then also she's just whenever she has to fight a villain a, a crab villain she's just gonna take a really deep breath maybe she'll count to three and she's going to face her fear and she's going to battle that, that crab villain and she's going to win. And then she will be super brave because she's faced her fear. So have a go at this. And you know, if you want, if you're inspired, you can take it even a step further. Once you've created your superhero, you can create some super villains for them to face. Or if you've created a villain, create a superhero. And then you could even create a whole story where you go into lots of detail about their powers and then facing their fears. And you can come up with your own book. Then you'll be an author too. Now, if you do have a go at this activity, whether drawing or even creating a whole story or a comic strip, I would love to see them. Um, please feel free to ask your grown-up if they're happy to share them on social media. Um, I'll put all the details at the end. I hope this brings you a little bit of fun and maybe acts as a way for you to express your worries or fears with a grown-up and start talking about them. Thank you.